Kyle Bosman here, uh, less than, fewer than uh, two minutes till uh, Pokemon Direct begins. Uh, expectations, uh, return of disappointment. I'm not expecting much from this. Uh, I expect it's, it's, it's like impossible to debut a Pokemon game that makes people happy uh, in general. Um, <laughs> uh myself included right i'm gonna like i just i'm not i'm not excited to have to hate what i'm about to see right i'm like i want to like it right mm, i want to be positive i want to love this um but like what reason do i have to believe that i will <laughs> um uh three pokeballs right there uh people who are scared that we're not gonna see a new game i like i i f i definitely feel like i'm about to see a uh, pokemon gen 8 um and then yeah maybe they're hinting we're gonna see those three starters and uh there's just so much riding on those starters we're gonna want to know what they evolve into people are gonna want to make fan art and we're gonna want to tweet about it yeah did twitter ruin pokemon or did pokemon ruin itself um uh one minute left and i feel the planet i feel the globe um watching this white page right uh many of us in different languages but like so weird that uh this kind of th not a lot of leaks and maybe there's not a lot of leaks because there's no game um maybe there's not a lot of information we're gonna see today uh, but I'm very surprised we're at this point and nothing has leaked. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. Okay. Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Thank you. Today, I would like to share some very special information with all of you. How special? Pokemon trainers all around the globe have already enjoyed many adventures in various regions of the Pokemon world. Oh, he's just going into it. Along the way, trainers have encountered many different Pokemon, battled against countless other Pokemon trainers, and experienced stories all their own. I gotta tell you, I'm getting nervous. The nerves are rising. And this year, a new Pokemon journey. I tried to have low expectations, and they're already skyrocketing. It's the music. A special video to okay. To the setting of your next adventure. I'm not ready. Please take a look. Okay. Okay. So to me, it definitely looks basic, right? <laughs> is it fair to call the game basic? That first shot is great. I'm hoping like, oh, I'm going to remove the right analog stick. It's clear we won't. <laughs> In a way, it looks small. That's a good fire starter. Look at this guy. Why did the reveal have to be a drizzle? <laughs> I guess that's his personality. The monkey. Oh, you know I don't like any simian Pokemon. <laughs> we had him. That guy's in Sun and Moon. <laughs> All right. Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield. Who 
Who's going to buy Pokemon Shield? Who's buying that? Why name it that? Today, we are pleased to announce all new entries. In I mean, I'll get Shield. Pokemon RPGs for Nintendo Switch. But here's the thing is Pokemon Sword people are going to think they're so cool. Like they're making a choice. <laughs> for an introduction to the I got Pokemon Sword. Like Starters to me like kind of tame. Uh, that jacket. I'm Junichi Masuda from Game Freak. And I've been working as the producer for To me they're not full of life, I guess. Right now, we at Game Freak are hard at work on the development of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. For the veteran Pokemon trainers who have experienced so many adventures with us up until now. For the new trainers who held a Pokeball for the first time in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu game or the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee game. This is me. All those out there looking to become Pokemon trainers for the first time. These games will be new entries in the Pokemon series. Role-playing games that will get any player fired up and excited. Promise. Promise me. Since these are new entries, mm -hmm. naturally, you'll find that they take place in a new region, with never-before-seen Pokemon living there, and new adventures... Gotta be honest, I had seen rumors about London. It looks like they're really doing that, right? So let's turn to the director of these games. Our uh, not just London, but England. An English countryside as well. I'm Shigeru Omori from Game Freak. I'm working as the director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The setting of these games is known as the Galar region. Galar is an expansive region with many environments, containing idyllic countryside and contemporary cities. Countryside, chat. And craggy snow-covered mountains. Gyms. So gyms are definitely in this game. People and Pokemon live here. Ooh, you know what I love? I love that the biggest, coolest city is last. I love that they save that for the top. Work your way up to it, you know? No, this does look exactly like Sun and Moon, right? So let's get to know the Pokemon that could be your next partner. Obviously Water Guy. Pokemon <laughs> Grookey. This mischievous Pokemon is full of boundless curiosity. We have enough chimps. The rabbit Pokemon Scorbunny, which is always running about, bursting with energy. Bad name. And the water lizard Pokemon Sobble. It's a <laughs> timid, shooting out attacks as it hides itself in the water. Sobble is so queer clearly the best Pokemon. Pokemon to be your trusty partner and set out across the Galar region on a new adventure. <laughs> you're a maniac if you're not picking Sobble. <laughs> Along the way, there will be many more. Never before seen Pokemon waiting to meet you and be discovered. How many? As we work on the development of these I hope it's a hundred or more, you know. Has been to create the greatest Pokemon experience yet. We're challenging ourselves to try new things while still treasuring what makes Pokemon special. Never touching the right analog stick. The adventures awaiting you in the Gala region. All right. So, what did you think? Just okay. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will be released simultaneously worldwide in late 2019. Mm -hmm. And that's not all you'll have to look forward to in 2019. We've got plenty in the works for the Pokemon brand that we hope will delight you. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for tuning in today. I want to see more for that brand. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh... Yeah. Um Man, it just feels like another one, doesn't it? <laughs> to me, it just feels like another one. It doesn't feel like, hey, we have this opportunity to be a console game now. It doesn't I I know they say that we're trying new things, but it just it does seem like they're just getting a little bit better with each game. I don't feel it. I don't feel the energy of, hey, we're going all out now. I feel the energy of we're bringing Sun and Moon to the Switch uh, in a new area with new Pokemon. Kind of looks the exact same, right? Same art direction, certainly, with the character faces and everything. And, and man, those textures. <laughs> Brutal. I guess it's cool. We'll be playing uh, what they call uh, football in england um i wonder if that'll be like a, a th here's what i know though here's what i know though is our character doesn't care about that 
we're just, it's just going to be a mini game, right? It's just going to be there's there's thousands of people who watch you play this mini game suddenly, but doesn't matter for the rest of the game. It's my assumption, right? I don't think that's our ambition. Our ambition is clearly to get to the Elite Four. Um, I bet if we go and look over that map again, we'll find eight gyms easily. Uh, uh, it, it, it definitely seems like they're sticking hard to a lot of conventions of Pokemon. And I mean, hey, I, I did see us going through tall grass um, and doing random battles, which actually I'm excited about. Um, I'm cool with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a lot of positive things to say, to be honest. Uh, uh, it looked nice. It, it, the the first view we got where I'm almost fooled. I almost think that this is going to be a true three-dimensional adventure. Um, and why I say that is you're like, hey, what, what do you mean it is 3D? Uh, it still feels like a 2D adventure to me. It still feels like we're navigating a 2D map despite 3D visuals. Um, okay, Twitch is kind of telling me to wrap it up. <laughs> Universal sign for wrap it up. Um, 45,000 people watching that. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm going to play it. I'm going to love it to death. Uh, Swabble? Is that a name? Scobble? Mm, Snobble? Spobble? Snobble. Spupple. But whatever. <laughs> I'm I'm picking him. <laughs> or her. There's no question though that that's the one. Uh just an ambunctious rabbit or or another simian. Just an another ape. We there are already three grass apes. <laughs> Not even just talking apes. There are three grass apes you can pick from. And now you have three more. They're going to double the grass apes. <laughs> uh, why, though? Why? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, hey, pretty cool. Um, uh, uh, it's just, I can't be there with you. That's the thing. That's the thing is I, I feel bad. I know there's a lot of people who are obviously going to be excited about this, who obviously thinks it looks good because it does look good, right? Um, and and I don't want to be like the downer on the thing that you're very, very excited about, but I'm just like, mm. I don't feel the ambition. I'm not feeling that from what I just saw. I saw three people talk to me about how ambitious they are, but they didn't show it. Um, and that's what hurts, I think. Pokemon, you can do better. I know you can. I want you to do better, but... Uh, uh, hey, that's going to be a fun game. Okay, everybody, that's it for me.